Well, Florida Republican congressional candidate says she was the target of a racial attack. Glow Smith tweeting a picture of her vandalized campaign sign. Her face was covered in white spray paint. Glow Smith joins us now. Glow, I have to tell you, this story not getting a lot of pickup in the mainstream media. I'm not surprised. You tweeted this picture, but you haven't reported this incident to police. Why? Well, right now, Andrea, our crime rate in District 5 is so high. Literally, this this one incident cannot uh, take precedence and, and, and um, over those other things that are happening in our state. And I think that's where our focus needs to be with our law enforcement. They really need to be addressing the issue of crime throughout the entire district. I think that's really commendable of you. I've read the reports that have covered this story where you've said, I don't want this to be a distraction. I want to focus on this race. And you tweeted out, um, I believe, I'm sad, but I'm still for diversity. So it doesn't sound like this is deterring you at all. Exactly. You know, we had to find humor in this. Not only um, am I all for diversity, but I really find humor in the fact that they colored in the lines. You see how they left my um, eyes uh, out. So I thought, you know, why not just, you know, look at it for what it is and say what they, what whoever uh, was behind this intentions were, whatever their motives were, I can't control. But what I can control is this campaign and the fact that we're out there. Our campaign is not about race. It's about the issues. It's about getting the representative out of office that's been there for 21 years and have not benefited um, our district, or, or at least our district has not benefited under her reign. So that's what our campaign is about, bringing economic development and jobs to the 5th District. You know, we've got to address the crime rate, but we also have to address the fact that in this district we have over a 17 percent unemployment rate. And to me, those are the real issues. You know, Glow, I, I just think if it would have been a Democrat that this would have happened to, the media would pay a little bit more attention, but unfortunately this year we've seen uh, a Republican who was gay out in the West be targeted for his beliefs by the very tolerant left. I hope they're not tolerant, uh, going after you or targeting you because you're a conservative female. I hate to think that way, and I hope that this doesn't happen again, but I have to commend you for staying focused on the issues. Glow, thanks well, so much. Thank you.